Hi everyone, so welcome to Narish Technologies, this is Srinivas. So, in this session is we are going to discuss one FAQ in garbage collection. So, that is so what is the use of system class GC method? What is the use of system class GC method? See, so system class is a predefined is available in a lang package we know that. In a system class, so there is one method, there is one method is a public method, it is not returning anything to anyone and it is a static method, the method name is a GC. Sir, what is that GC method? Simple, it will run garbage collector thread, it will run garbage collector is a description, it is a predefined. Sir, where we use exactly? So, actually, so in a process of garbage collection, JVM implicitly starts the garbage collector thread and whenever a garbage collector thread started, garbage collector thread invokes the finalized method. So, means what in Java, garbage collection process is entirely internal, is implicit and automatic. Then sir, why we are calling system class GC method externally, where we use exactly? where we use exactly. See, we already discussed. So, JVM will not start the garbage collector thread unnecessarily, right. See, for example, so on the in the heap area, in a heap area only we will create objects, we will create objects only in the heap area. Suppose, if you just create only two objects, then JVM will not start the garbage collector thread. So, when a garbage collector thread will do only I mean only the memory is running low, when heap area is a full, when heap area is a full, so then only, so then only JVM starts the garbage collector thread, garbage collector thread is looking for an unreferenced object, then it will invoke finalize method and uh, resource releasing object destruction and then it will allocate that memory to the newly created object. So, it is a time taken process. Na? to perform all these things uh, in the process of object creation, it will take so much time. So, instead of that, instead of that we can request using system dot GC, using GC method, it is a static method available in a system class. So, that is why system dot GC, static members we will access using class name in Java, we know that. So, using system dot GC, we are just requesting the JVM, you please start the garbage collector thread continuously in the background. Sir, why? So, what is the reason and why JVM is not executing that garbage collector thread continuously? So, we discussed whenever, whenever number of threads are increasing in the application, automatically application performance will decrease slowly. So, that is why unnecessarily right JVM will not run the garbage collector thread, automatically your Java application performance will decrease. So, that is why only when required JVM starts the garbage collector thread, but here, so what is that suggestion, what is that request JVM, you please do not care about that application performance, because we use a very high end processors and we will take care of that, uh, we will take care of that particular application performance, okay. Please do not care about uh, application performance, please do not care about application performance, you please run garbage collector thread continuously in the background. Of course, multiple requests are required to, to the JVM to start the garbage collector thread. So, sir, what is the use? Means what? It is a quick reuse. So, means what? Suppose whenever one object is eligible for garbage collection, so automatically it will be deleted, the space is available. So, next time, whenever we are trying to create a new object, no need to wait for so long time. So, so directly the space is available, in the available space it will go and store right. So, this is, so when we use a system dot GC method. Ex externally when we call system dot gc method in java application okay so hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to narishati channel thank you thank you all